suppose as well, like obviously, you know, like obviously winning seven um you know county county titles in a row like what was it do you think for yourselves kind of year on year that always kind of had you back motivated back on at a year on year because obviously it is quite demanding and it is quite a strain on yourselves as a group in many ways so i suppose like what was it for yourselves that kind of had you back at a year on year and being able to i suppose still achieve that same success i suppose it's the the winning mentality like um a lot of it comes down to the trainings as well um, like especially back in that 2015 year, like the the A versus B games were nearly as tough as as matches themselves. Like so, you're going to matches and they're nearly like a breeze compared to that. And so it's just the it's the lads pushing. I think in Carfin, like the the intermediate strain with the seniors, and you, you have a good A versus B games and just the week out before matches or whatever. And yeah, it's the lads in the squad pushing you the whole time. It's a huge help. And I suppose like when you were starting to get to like the latter stages of, you know, provincial or the All Ireland series, like obviously a lot of, you know, intense battles in there with the likes of Ballantubber, Vincent, Slot Neil. Like like how, how did you cope in, in some of those games and what was it like coming up against some of those teams when you did start, you know, competing at the latter stages of Connacht and getting to All Ireland semi finals and finals and whatnot? Yeah, I suppose I suppose the the goal of the of um when we're starting out the year is is to get over Galway first. So we'd have a number of games in Galway, it could be seven or eight. Like, And if we get over them and you get on to the Connacht series, it's going to be four games, five if you have to go to London and you just can fully concentrate on them games then. Um, yeah, we had some some great battles over there with the likes of Castle Bear and um, St. Bridget's. Um, I think we went to, went to extra time a few times with them and just scraped over the line. And then you have the likes of Slot Neil, like they're always always pushing an Ulster. Um, and then I suppose the, the three in a row, then you're looking at Crokes and Nemo, like two top quality teams. Like I know we got bet by Crokes previously, like so it was, it was nice to, I suppose, get back at them um, in 2019. Um, they played us off the park that day. Um, and then Nemo, then they have such a, it was great to play against a team that has such a great history, like and some some great players. Um, and then Kilku was probably one of our toughest because it was a it was a mixture of they were playing defensive, but we knew they were going to play defensive, and we didn't really turn up um, for the first half. It's a it took us a while to settle into the game, and we were a bit lethargic, like and I suppose it took us really till till extra time to kind of get a bit of life in us and. Um, from there, yeah, we happened to grind out the win. But yeah, mm. you have some some tough battles over the years. It hasn't been a, a smooth sailing at all. You might people like to say like you see you see some Crow Park in, in two finals over the, the last few years, but they haven't seen the slogging in the Connacht and in Galway over the years. Like in, in Galway we had two county finals against Small Bellew and and Tune that went to a replay. Um so it's been it's been a tough journey, but it's been a good journey. Mm. Yeah, and I suppose that was kind of that kind of leads me on to what I was going to say next was obviously like I suppose the attitude as well and some of those close games like what you're saying against Tune when it looked like you were all but beaten and I suppose you know having to go to extra time against Croaks and extra time against Kilku like what kind of is it within yourselves to kind of like how how do you kind of find that extra yard or that extra step maybe in those battles or in those games because I feel like with a lot of teams maybe in those kind of situations they probably you know say to themselves maybe subconsciously like okay we've we've achieved our All-Ireland the previous year we've done what we could this isn't our year we kind of just have to let this one slide so what is it for for yourselves as a group that kind of in your opinion kind of drives you on to, to get back in those games yeah I think it's the, the character of the lads you have the leaders like Gary Sice uh, Ronald Steed for these lads who can step up in the big moments like Gary scored two two points to get us the, the draw against June um, then you had the likes of Lundy, Michal Lundy, who scored a fist over the bar in the last the last second against Mount Bellew. Um, also, we have we have a lot of experience under our belt as well, so we know that we're always like if we're in touch and distance, we can get there. Like you know, we have we had the talent in our in our squad, um, even the subs coming off the bench to to push us and and to get us over the line um, against Mount Bellew last year. Um, we probably we probably didn't have that, and um, we were probably 
we got injuries at bad times. Um, I think in the, in the second water break, we had we're down by about six points, and we had two injuries like Mike Mike Farrer and Ronald Seed, and we had a there was another back that was injured as well, and we we're just looking around and. You know, if it was in touching distance, you'd be like, "Okay, here we go." Like, but it's hard to come back from from that from that distance. Then, um, but yeah, I think it's experience over the years that helped us. And I suppose when you when you get one grind out one win, and um, you don't see why you can't just grind out another, um, and just keep keep going from there. And you never bet. Like you keep you keep going, and experience helps us. And I think a lot of teams. The way they look at it as well is like, oh, we're we're just going to be curved in, like, and I think they put a lot of pressure on themselves even, so that gives us an advantage to kind of scrape back a few points and and uh, put pressure on them. Yeah, it's probably the psychology kind of in a you know in, in amongst that I suppose as well. Like, and well, I suppose when you look at the the fourteen fifteen season as well, like when obviously when you like what you're kind of alluding to earlier, like winning the clubs, um, like second ever All Ireland Club Senior Football Championship, like what was that experience like? I suppose on the day. Um, you know, and obviously, you know, le- leading up to it as well, like beating Ballant Hubber, Vincent's, Slot Neil, like all, you know, all on route, of course. So I suppose what was that the whole uh, experience like leading up to it and on the day as well? Yeah, I think I think the biggest win that year was against St. Vincent's. Um, that was the most important win because Curfin for years had get were getting to All Ireland semi finals, but they couldn't get over that hurdle and get to Crow Park. And I think it was for the supporters as well, like they'd only love a day out in Crow Park and I think it was four or five semi-finals in a row that was lost, and to get over that hurdle like in such a like St. Vincent's won the year before, um, and they looked unstoppable at the time. I think they were going for was it two in a row or going for the second one, yeah. Um, so it was nice to to get a win there, even for myself, like as a, as a young lad playing against the likes of Jeremy Connolly, like and and these lads, Mossy Quinn, and you're like, this is crazy. I remember at one stage in that game, like. Jeremy Connolly was running at me like and I was like I don't know what I'm going to do here because I was only about 72 kg at the time and he happened to slip and I was delighted but yeah um, we got on to Crow Park then and um, Slot Neil I think I think that year we were just we were just at the races like we we had our work done and we were prepped and that was was just just one of them years where you kind of had everything going for you and we had like so Alan Burke and Gray Higgins these lads who play for Gaul were like um, playing that time and a lot of there was there was experience under our belt back then even though the likes of me and maybe Liam Silk were, were young and as well at the time but we had like Gary Delaney as well it's like that's three or four older lads who played for years that that were kind of pushing us on and, and getting us going but for me that for your first year playing club to win all Ireland, it was crazy. I was kind of slagging at the time. I was like, I can retire now, happy. Um, but I suppose since then, it's it's not really about what you have at the end. It's not about the what you win at the end of the day. It's about the journey and um, like the three in a row journey is like that only happens because you keep winning. Like and it's it's all about the journey at the end of the day. So especially with the lads and and the crack as well. So. I was only down the pitch the last day and I was kind of tying the boots in the car before going out and doing my own session and I was looking up at the sign and it was like curving three in a row and it just kind of brought me back to just thinking about the 98 when when we won a first in curving and how much of a big, big deal it was back then and like it's it was the first All-Ireland that was won in, in Connacht at the time and they were the standard bears at the time and, and just to think that I've been part of a team that's gone on to win three in a row is just it's crazy really and you kind of forget about it sometimes like, I remember um, Ryan Giggs had a quote before saying like he'll, he'll think back on what he's achieved after his career is finished like that's the way it is at the moment it's just about kind of keep going and, and keep keep trying to do as best we can and keep achieving what we can with the, with the time we have playing and um, yeah yeah